ProPublica has released this article about Justice Clarence Thomas and how Clarence Thomas is corrupt. We knew this, but now we have some details on it that are being um, that are revealed through their reporting. So Clarence Thomas here apparently accepted and we'll just read what ProPublica uh, says. For decades, Justin, Justice Clarence Thomas has secretly accepted luxury trips from a major Republican donor, newly obtained documents and interviews show. The extent and frequency of these apparent gifts of Thomas has no known precedent in modern SCOTUS history. Now let's keep scrolling here. Thomas has publicly presented himself as an everyman man with modest tastes. In this documentary about the, uh, the justice, he waxes nostalgic about his fondness for Walmart parking lots. Now, we just got to watch this yeah, because... Let's watch it here again. Yeah, let's watch it here. In comparison to uh, what his vacations actually looked like with this Republican billionaire donor, it doesn't seem like an accurate characterization of his tastes. You know, I don't have any problem with going to Europe, but I prefer the United States and I prefer seeing the regular parts of the United States. I prefer going across the rural areas. I prefer the RV parks. I prefer the Walmart parking lots to the beaches and things like that. But there's something normal to me about it. I come from regular stock. And I prefer that. I prefer being around that. Yeah, I mean, it, he, he really made that clear when he signed his book as a gift for one of the people working on the yacht that he was in off the coast of New Zealand. He just would rather be in a Walmart parking lot. Uh, yeah, it was like episode of Below Deck. He just like tips them with a copy of his own memoir. And it, and it has the name that all these memoirs have, like my grandfather's stepson or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very like, <laughs> very, very like tack tacky. My, my great aunt's uh, greatest pride. Yeah. That's who I am. <laughs> um, so here, uh, let's go back to the thread. Thomas, but Thomas's friendship with Dallas-based real estate magnate Harlan Crow has allowed him to repeat, ex, uh, repeatedly experience luxuries well beyond his means. He's vacationed on Crow's 162-foot super yacht around the globe and flies on Crow's bomb, uh, Bombardier Global 5000 jet. You want to play this? Yeah. It's just... No, no, no. Okay. Keep going. Um, in June 2019, Thomas boarded Crow's private jet to Indonesia. Again, not America. For nine days of island hopping on Crow's yacht. Had Thomas chartered the jet and yacht himself, it could have cost him over $500,000. Um, it wasn't Thomas's first time on Crow's yacht, the Michaela Rose. He went on a river day trip in Savannah, Georgia, and an extended cruise in New Zealand roughly a decade ago. This guy, by the way, Crow, her uh, not a uh, club for growth donor. While sailing around New Zealand with Crow, Thomas autographed a copy of his memoirs, a gift for a crew member. Thank you so much for all your hard work on our New Zealand adventure. Re reads the inscription. Hopefully you can eat this book. The justice has gone with Crow to the Bohemian Grove, poof, an exclusive Ooh. California all-male retreat, and to Crow's sprawling Texas ranch. Every summer, Thomas typically spends about uh, a week in Camp Top Ridge, Crow's private estate in the Adirondacks. So, I mean, that, that, that paints a pretty good picture. I, I don't think we need too much more from this thread. I'd encourage everybody to check out ProPublica's uh, reporting. But it does just cast new light, in my opinion. <laughs> on this case that uh, Clarence Thomas just hasn't recused himself from any cases, even though even ones that involve, say, his wife and her advocacy. But in 2016, um, there was a case called McDonald versus U.S. where the former Virginia governor, his case went to the Supreme Court and he was essentially indicted and criminalized for taking gifts uh, while he was in office in the form of cash and loans and things like that and the the court decided unanimously that they were going to side with the governor here robert mcdonald so that means to me as egregious as this clarence thomas ex example is this is systemic in a court that has no real ethics uh mechanisms internally that especially in our congress is corrupt is as corrupt as it gets but they have some bylaws the the Supreme Court is lawless and they like it that way. 
Yeah, no, I think this is a distillation of, like you said, the lack of accountability within our, not just, you know, political sphere, but our political media sphere that kind of shifts the burden of like not having this like obvious appearance of impropriety onto the people who are observing it. So I can imagine that eventually what we'll get as a take in this incident is that you weren't there, Clar you weren't there to see what Clarence Thomas and Crow were talking about. You weren't there to see like if anything was untoward. So it's you're, you're incumbent upon you, the citizen, to pretend that there's nothing fishy here. Because if you acknowledge that there's uh, something fishy here, that there's corruption here, you're the one who's weakening these institutions, not Clarence <laughs> Thomas's behavior. And you know, usually you hear sort of this stuff from like various pundits in the media who are looking for a way to like, you know, inoculate themselves or people who operate in that sphere from ever being held accountable for, you know, what they consider to be the everyday business dealings of being in politics or media, like having billionaires fund your work or having, you know, billionaires fly you out to Indonesia uh, to go island hopping on their uh, super plane or bombardier uh, class <laughs> super jet. Like that's all just, you know, that's just all part of our system now. And like, it's just been shifted onto the viewer to be like, oh, that's 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 fine. Yeah. I also just love the conception that uh, when Clarence Thomas is attempting to look like an everyman, that he said he'd rather be in the wall in a Walmart mm. parking lot, because that's like, you know, when when a random person just pick someone likes to vacation, the Walmart parking lots at the top of their list. So that makes them down to earth. Conservatives love the cosplay like this. This is what their yeah. version of the average American is like, oh, I, if Michelin star restaurant. No, I, I only eat at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I, I don't want an apartment. I'd rather live in a McDonald's uh, bathroom stall. That makes me relatable. You know, I was expecting this when I came on this show to hear from these hoity-toity liberals <laughs> crapping on a successful conservative who just happens to black enjoy conservative the, at that. Well, don't forget, that don't true, forget. that true. Don't forget how black uh, he is. Right. And, and, you know, he just happens to enjoy, like every normal American, that uh, cool, calming feeling of the Walmart parking lot asphalt beneath your toes when you go on vacation. I mean, I, I should have known it coming from you, too. That was unbelievable. That, when you were seeing that private jet, which you couldn't see, that if you zoomed out, that was also in a Walmart park, parking lot. That's right. where the airstrip is. <laughs> Honestly, is is our uh, entire world not just one large Walmart parking lot? I makes you really makes you think. I'm going that way. Yeah, and let's uh, let's pull up though this other tweet that someone uncovered here. Um, this is a, a photo that Ted Cruz tweeted out in 2018 that this uh, that Justin Elliott found, which shows. Clarence Thomas, Judge Jerry Smith, and Ted Cruz meeting with, uh, meeting together, and it's been revealed here that that is the, uh, that billionaire, Harlan Crow, his private library, which I, I gotta say, look, in. looking at, looking at that photo, I would have never assumed that was in someone's home. <laughs> it mean, looks look like, at it, look it's, at that room. It's like, the, it's like the beast chalet in Beauty and the Beast, like where he like locks right. the bell. Look at that fireplace. <laughs> it looks like you're designed to go in and what, what is, what do they do in Harry Potter? Apparate? No, that's the flu network. I think the flu, the, oh, flu, the flu network. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I've, seen, I've seen a few movies. That's one big fireplace. I mean, someone someone could fall in. Keep that kid away from there. But this was for a swearing in of J James Ho of the Fifth Circuit. So they were also like literally swearing in a circuit court judge in this guy's private library. Yeah. And so as the as the report uh, the yeah. the reporter writes, if we could just go back for a sec. You know, turns I, out I, I this. Hold on one sec. It turns yeah, sure. out this is in billionaire Harlan Crow's private library, and flight records show Crow's jet dispatched to D.C. and back to Dallas before and after this event. So uh, he was in and around there. Uh, just, just, just going to show how deeply intertwined right wing donors are with judges and uh, the 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 priests like judges that like to believe they're above reproach. It's just as corrupt as any other Republican structure in our government. I would say the next move should be to look into Jim Ho, because I know anything goes for the Supreme Court justices. There are no rules for them. They could do what they like. But I don't know if, if uh, Ho is getting uh, sworn in here in this private library, this billionaire who we already know is flying, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, SCOTUS justices around. 
uh, in this case, Thomas, Justice Thomas, then uh, I'm sure the rules are a little bit uh, different for the lower court ju uh, judges like, oh, so people should look into him next, in my opinion. It's a good point because that Fifth Circuit is the laboratory for these right wing uh, appeals to go through. Essentially, if you appeal in Texas, Louisiana, is it Georgia, the other state that's included in the Fifth Circuit? I forget. But the re there's a reason that all of these cases are going through the Fifth Circuit is because they've stacked that uh, judicial panel with guys like Jim Ho, James Ho, <laughs> um, who are uh, operating as uh, servants for billionaire donors uh, like Harlan Crow. So just gross, gross. Yeah, it's Louisiana, Mississippi and Texas.